Hello Collective, welcome back to the Ascended Divination Priestess Terror Channel. You are greatly appreciated. I am sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your families as always. I return to source, I return to sender. All negative energies and intent immediately and permanently. I call in only the purest of white light and pray that you stay only in the purest of vibrational energy. Whatever the enemy has stolen from you, it is returned to you. All evil and negative plans of the enemies against you are dismantled, being dismantled as we speak. As I have said, uh, so shall it be. Okay, let's go ahead and get into our tarot reading. We will do our oracle cards a little bit towards the end. I hope you all are doing well, staying blessed and highly favored because you truly are. So we have a king of cups here in the reverse. Someone is going through some type of emotional outburst behind the scenes. Uh, this is someone that's having a hard time staying committed to some type of destructive energy they've been trying to impose on another person or impose on another person's pathway. Someone wants to have some type of control of you, may have wanted to come in and breadcrumb you, make it look like they actually want to share with you. This is the honest truth. Some type of clarity has been reviewed about the intentions of a king of cups in the reverse. This is possibly someone that you may have dated or someone you are acquainted with associated with familiar with so this could be someone you may have had some type of contract with in the past or this could be someone that has some type of emotions for you but was hiding his emotions and now that his commitment to something whether this was destroying you blocking your pathway smearing your character whatever this is someone is not able to stay committed to whatever reality this is they've created for themselves so they're going to have to move on someone may be having a hard time doing this or someone may be having a hard time with income or they just have a hard time coming in to manipulate you because they know that you are aware of what they've been doing behind the scenes every action who they've been working with uh they may also know that there's an emperor that may be planning to come towards you um and he's going to be doing it quickly so whoever this king of cups reverse is and wanting to come in and cause you some type of deceit lie to you or something like that so that they can have you trapped in some type of karmic cycle with you because they know you have some type of true love offer coming in uh someone may hold, uh, hold you in a very high regard you may be someone that's be that's going to be receiving some type of marriage proposal or something like that in the near future uh so this king of cups in the reverse wants to come in and cause some type of stagnation they're hoping yeah they want to cause some type of stagnation they're hoping that you are still gullible or dumb enough to think that they care about you possibly more than likely whoever this is you may have dated them and never realized that what their true intentions were for you this is like you dating a masculine and you don't know they're your destiny blocker or they've offered you or put you on the chopping block um, but they then realize that whatever it is they plan for you, it's not going to work because you're standing your ground. You're fighting a battle with a group of people you're not even aware of. And the common denominator is this person from your past that got people to go up against you because if someone has some type of a, a sickening obsession with causing you destruction someone does not want people seeing you in a positive light someone wants to be able to have control of you so they may have committed themselves to destroying or causing destruction uh, on your pathway uh, someone could be out of work or maybe they're just having a hard time staying committed to whatever task this is that they set for themselves and the task just really has to do with them ending you making sure you don't receive any offers you don't receive any opportunities nobody wants to work with you someone may be out in the cold maybe being rejected by an institution uh, so someone could be taking actions behind the scenes, possibly a king of swords taking some type of action to bring balance into a situation, maybe traveling towards you or maybe leaving this uh, community um, to come towards you and speak the truth or give you some type of clarity. Um, maybe someone is interested in working with you or there could be a king of pentacles that wants to have some type of family dynamic with you. I will be careful with these people because, because each and every one of them have been involved in some type of divine, not divine, some type of orchestrated plan a scenario when it comes to getting you out of this energy hindering any type of opportunity you receive but everyone is under some type of divine judgment and you are divinely protected your resources your future your life your growth 
all of your dreams and aspirations. They are a protected source. It's going to be pouring into you uh, unlimited in an unlimited manner. So you have nothing to worry about. Your victory is ensured. You may have approached a situation very logically. And this is why this group is having a hard time uh, causing you an ending. Uh, they may not even know. They don't understand why it is that they're not able to take you down. I'm hearing that you are in the way of their plan, what they have planned either for their community or the world. You are in some type, you're in the way of a plan that these people have. Whether you live in a building, in some type of community, there is some type of plan they have for the community that you are in and you are a, a, a barrier, you're a blockage, right? So let's say you have a company that buys out uh, a building, right? Whether it's like a, 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 a like a car lot, an apartment, um, any kind of building you can think of. And the missing, excuse me, and the reason why they bought that company or that building is to cause some type of destructive energy in there. Uh, let's say, uh, for example, a building of residence, right? A, an apartment complex. The people within that apartment complex, maybe they've been living there peacefully. Um, maybe then the new company, the karmic community wants to come in and cause havoc, right? Over tax, take advantage of people, invade their privacy. These are people that are like put cameras in people's apartments and things like that. And they're watching you with everything you do it's like a sickening obsession they're sitting back watching people whether taking bath eating sleeping putting secret recordings uh recorders secret cameras in your homes and things like that it does not have to be that but i'm just using that as an example they want to invade people's privacies within communities and things like that they want to recruit recruit people into their operation so that it can expand and you as a light worker you're in some type of community and you're causing some type of blockage or hindrance for these people you may be bringing light to something that they are doing or you know the truth about them and this is causing some type of problem there may be something where they want to come in and work with you but you don't want to work with them you're not meant to work with these people but they will come in and give you some type of offer they believe you're not you cannot afford to turn down and source is telling you to turn that offer down or don't even give them room or the opportunity to give you that offer because once you accept that offer you are stuck in some type of binding contract with these people um so that's what it is there is a king of pentacles in this community that may be going through an ending someone may have vainly partook in something he should not have partook in someone was meant to heal and go within and see things from a higher perspective um he was supposed to find the courage to take some type of action and bring balance into a situation but instead he stayed trapped and may have lied about a queen of cups, right? And tried to hinder their stability to keep them trapped. But this queen of cups is standing her way. She will be successful, will be partnering up with the emperor that she is supposed to be partnering up with. And all blockages people have been causing are being illuminated. So basically the truth is out here. Threat with caution. Um, they may want to send someone to you to cause you some type of ending. This is someone that's going to come in as a lover, but they're their overall goal at the end is to destroy you. Like they don't want you getting up. This isn't a plan being orchestrated by an entire organization. Okay. You may have a King of Pentacles, King of Swords here in the background that has been, uh, um, uh, like receiving either like communication for this from the spirit realm or some type of download, something like that, that's telling him he needs to take some type of action to bring balance into a situation because he knows what a group has been doing when it comes to a king of a queen of cups. They've been lying and trying to keep you stuck, keep you trapped, or uh, destroy your pathway, hinder your courage, and things like that, hinder your pathway. So there's some type of uh, message that has been given to a king of pentacles. This could be a different king of pentacles, but there is a king of pentacles, king of swords within a community or just outside of this community, but has some type of awareness of what these people have been doing. And it is because you either said something or you did something and this person chose to look into it. And what it is, is that he's astounded that with the fact that you know what these people are planning or were planning for you. Um, to do to you and now he's kind of sitting back trying to figure out well do I balance this out what's going to happen to me if I take action to balance this out right uh sir king of pentacles because this is the energy I'm getting from you 
the universe will never call you to a task without protection. They will never give you a, a, per, a, 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 a purpose. They will never give you or put you on a mission without protection. So whatever it is you are thinking about doing, you more than likely need to do that because it's going to be some type of ending taking place, like a tower taking place for you. If you don't take action to bring balance into this situation and close out this chapter, you are being told to go for it. You will be uh, uh, um, rewarded heavily. Um, things may get a little bit tumultuous for you. You may lose a lot of connections and things like that. You may have to cut your loss as well. Uh, I don't know if you partner up with these people in the past and it led to some type of loss for you, but balance will be brought into your situation in divine timing. You're losing a lot of sleep on over this. I don't know if you're the head of an organization and your wish is to take some type of action and bring balance into a situation, but you are hesitant. I don't know who you are. But just know that source will never give you a purpose or a mission or put you on some type of mission without protection. Um, the community in here, there is a king of a pentacles other than you that's going through some type of ending. Um, because someone did a lot of manipulation behind the scenes as far as bribing people, uh, paying a lot of people to cause hindrances for someone else. Someone may have paid someone in the justice system as well. Someone could be working with... a uh, Someone in the praising system just trying to cause hindrances for whoever it is they're trying to take down. But it's like whatever they do, it's not leading to any type of success. They're not able to block someone's forward movement. From, they're not able to stop someone from receiving opportunities because the opportunities this empress is receiving are divinely orchestrated. They are part of her birthright. This is something that she's entitled to, even this connection. Someone is heavily protected and always will be prosperous in life, okay? And because this empress is receiving what belongs to her, it has these people living in fear and anxiety, but this empress is absolutely aware of everyone in the situation, um, but they know that they are also protected. You are being kept out of this person's energy for a reason. Someone is doing a lot of work behind the scenes to send some type of negative energy towards an empress energy as well. Lord, if I say energy one more time, I'm going to lose my mind, but you know what it is. This is something they do around the clock, right? Sending and projecting a lot of negativity towards someone because they want to in your energy, cause you blockages, especially mental blockages so that you don't focus on your dreams. You don't get your downloads. Your connection with source is hindered, but you are someone extremely intuitive and they're trying to cause some type of blockage or stag stagnation. They want to block your mental, your downloads. They want to also block you from receiving some type of offer, some type of financial payout, payment, something like that. Just some type of offer that's going to bring balance into your situation. Um, this is a whole community coming together to do something like this, but they're going to have to walk away in the end um, because there's an emperor standing his ground and choosing to move forward in love in order to have his victory. All right. And he's trying to come up with a way on how to do this, but he knows that if he takes the wrong action, it could lead to a tower for him and the community as well. So any whatever decision he makes, whether in love, business, he has to thread with caution um, because he does want to make sure that his business is secure. This could be an emperor that wants to work with you. So someone could be going through some type of change. I keep getting a download about an emperor that's like the head of a community. So someone is very powerful in the physical, but not as powerful in the spiritual. And they, he has his eye on a feminine energy that is powerful in the spirit realm. So if you two were to come together, this is like the physical and the spiritual coming together, balancing each other out. So what you have in the spirit he has in the physical, what he likes in the spirit, what you don't have in the physical, you have in the spiritual, right? So it's kind of like two different forces balancing each other out in this, them coming together and being very successful. This could be something that's divinely meant to be, right? This is a union that's meant to be, it's divinely guided. It's just that because you two are coming from two different sides of the track, he's coming from the dark and you're coming from the light. The people in his community are not very much fun of this union coming together. So they are doing quite a lot of, uh, a lot of silly things behind the scenes to block 
someone from taking some type of um, action, right? This could be someone very successful. And again, he's the head of a community. This could be like a business owner, uh, someone just very high ranking in a institution. And he wants to work with you. He does have foresight of who you are. He does know who you are on a spiritual level because this is someone that has a practitioner that tells him exactly what he needs to know. And someone is very logical as well. So while he may not have spiritual gifts like you do, Empress or High Priestess, someone is very very practical, right? So their practicality is something that kind of, that functions kind of like a, a intuition, like a spiritual gift. Uh, he doesn't have spiritual gift, but someone is just very intellectual, very smart, quick witted, and he understands and has foresight of what is going on. Someone's very clever and he knows that you, you know what you're talking about as well. <clears throat> Excuse me. He knows what you're talking about. Someone may not even understand how you knew what these people were planning for you. They've been trying to defeat or destroy or steal all of your investments or destroy your investments so that you're not able to get back up. This is an absolute collaboration between a group of people. Um, there's some type of divine meeting that is meant to happen. And I think it could be between you and this emperor. And this is what this group. This community, they're trying to block him from taking some type of action to come towards you. And this is something they've been doing for a while. But I think as dark as these people are, as dark as they work, these dark workers want to be, they already know this person will be making plans to come towards you. So all illusions they're causing has to come to an end, okay? Because you will be receiving some type of commitment that's going to help you invest even more into your new beginning, your path, and it's going to lead to some type of abundance. But just know that you do have a family out here or a couple out here trying to weigh you down, trying to block you as much as possible, trying to cause you hindrances. They themselves are going through this while they're trying to do it for you because the truth is out, right? Someone has gone within to know the truth about you, your energy, and who you really are. People may have said that you were someone of the dark, or maybe you just didn't know what you're talking about, but whoever it is in this community knows a hundred percent that you know what you're talking about. You have a direct connection with source showing up here as the fool. You have a direct connection with source and you possess higher knowledge and things like that. You have a higher perspective of the situation that even this emperor in this community may not have because his mind may be limited because he tends to be someone that looks out to outside forces for information. He may not uh, uh, self-actualize as often as he should, whereas you do. So they're able to cause him a lot of blockages and hindrances, especially mentally. So it keeps him in his head. Even though he's the head of a community, this is someone that's in his head a lot. Okay. So now that he knows the truth about you, he may want to come towards you and give you some type of friendship offer, uh, give you some type of offer. I don't know if it's in love. Someone may have some type of passion for you or some type of emotions for you. I don't know. Um, but just know that the truth is exposed. People do know the truth about what is going on. They may also, the people around him, his family may be realizing that this man is going through some type of change and they're not liking it, right? He's going through some type of change because of something you said, okay? Because of how you carry yourself, the knowledge you possess. He knows that you're someone very straightforward, quick-witted, uh, you know, you say what you mean, say what, uh, mean what you say. Um, so someone, you could have caused some type of awakening in an emperor within a community that says absolute, yeah, he's in a community and he's absolutely high ranking. So he may have made some type of decision to communicate with you. Uh, and this is going to bring balance into a situation. So maybe they want to give, give to you. I don't know what this is. Maybe he wants to now build with you or what, it, whatever this is. I'm kind of, I don't know, uh, I don't know. I think he may want to work with you. He's going through some type of ending, some type of rebirth. But I would throw it with caution. There's something where I'm also getting like two people coming together. It's like the start of the union is really hectic or it's going to be really hectic. This is like someone goes from being your worst enemy in the world, trying to take all types of actions to block your forward movement, block your beginning, your truth, trying to steal your destiny and things like that. And then it goes to love. Uh, working together, divine union. Uh, now he sees you as his empress. There's something like that going on. They said two people, their paths are coming together, but the beginning of the path is absolutely tumultuous. Like if you were to be around this masculine and you saw how he behaves, 
you may be repulsed or you may be kind of turned off. You may be aware that someone has been trying to destroy you. So it's kind of going to go from being in this, oh, I can't stand you. I mean, why would you do this? Who the heck does that? This is so childish. Why are you com this committed to destroying me? To then you two having some type of divinely orchestrated meeting because this is divine intervention where you two meet and are coming together, having a sit down and talking things out. And from that, there, there's going to be some type of friendship that is gradually uh, developed and then it's going to turn into some type of romantic thing. But it's very tumultuous how this relationship is going to come about. For someone out there, I'm also hearing that there could be like a church. I don't think it's a church. There's some type of religious figure that's been working from behind the scenes and he's been sending people towards you, right? They were supposed to come in, wine you, dine you, whatever you have you join a cult or some type of clothing, whatever this is, join their religious practices and things like that. But it's like everyone he sent you, it didn't work. Okay, so he may have taken some type of action to come into your energy himself. And again, that didn't work either. He may have done something or you read right through him and you found his behavior to be a little repulsive. So you may have rejected this person. Whoever this is, is trying to find a way to get into your energy. They may want to balance something out with you because someone knows that you and them have some type of calling together. This is an emperor, could be the head of a community. I don't know who this man is that I keep getting all this download on. Excuse me. <clears throat> Excuse me. There we go. I don't know who he is. I keep getting a download on, but this is someone from your past. And it does not have to be in this lifetime. This could be someone who's like a soulmate for you. And you're too incarnated in this lifetime to someone got caught up in the dark, right? He started his journey in the dark in this lifetime. This could be people that he has some type of past lifetime contract with. Um, and he's having to find his way out of it. Uh, and in order for you two to come together, he's going to have to put that to an end. Okay. Yeah. In order for you two to come together and be successful. Okay. He's going to have to put an end to all of this madness. Okay. I had a dream where it's like there was a masculine. Yeah, he's going to have to keep his distance from these people, uh, go through some type of awakening, complete the process. But it says someone starts his awakening process and then he retracts or he relapses. It's kind of like a drug addict. Um, you know, they, they go for maybe a, three days a week or something without doing it and then they relapse. And it's because of the environment that he's in, okay? And I think it's kind of hard too because this is possibly the head of a community. So he can't just wake up and say, you know what, I'm leaving or something like that, right? So he has to do it strategically, take care of uh, whatever obligations he has wherever he is because there, there is an entire community that's relying on this masculine, regardless if it's a dark community, there's a system they've put in place and he's the center of this operation. So if he just ups and leaves, what does that mean? But I get a, a, a notion also that this operation that they have and has been going on, has had going on for a long time, is falling apart. And this is because of the actions they took against you trying to have you living in fear um, because they've done this many many times before they're even trying to keep this man uh, afraid of you they may have told him a lot of lies and things like that about you so he may be in this energy right now and stuck in his head i'm telling you he's stuck in his head and he feel like he's gonna lose a lot if he connects with you they've told him nothing but nasty things about you that are not true there could be a queen of swords here in this community that tells a lot of lies as well. Someone may be playing victim towards an emperor energy. This is someone that plays on emotions. She knows how to speak. I keep getting a woman that's very good with using her words and she knows how to turn on, turn on her emotions to get you to do what it is she want you to do. Okay. This woman does not have any type of emotions. Like the heart space is empty as can be. What's in there is just a vessel, but it's an empty vessel. This woman knows how to put on an act. I'm telling you, she knows how to put on an act. Okay. This is someone emotionally unbalanced. Someone is just very conniving. Uh, this is like a linguistic expert, uh, but in the dark sense. Like she knows how to play with your mental 
I got to give this woman credit for how crafty she is when it comes to using her words. Someone is very manipulative. You, when we go to school, we get bachelor's, master's, uh, your, your PhDs, your doctor, this woman, I don't know what comes after the PH, the, the doctor. Someone is up there, up there when it comes to being crafty with words and playing like, like this psychology. This woman knows how to play with your psychology. Okay. She knows how to word things to make it seem like she's the victim or she's doing something in the benefit of another person, but it's always for her. She's always acting on her behalf. She does not care about anyone else. Not even the, the man that she's talking to, the emperor that she's trying to communicate with and get him to take some type of action to leave someone else in a burden. She's trying to get help from an emperor to destroy someone else's future, someone else's life, to destroy someone else's birthright so that she can keep hold of something either that does not belong to her or to keep some type of sickening operation going on because she's benefiting from whatever lie that is going on, whatever operation is going on. She's trying to block two people from coming together. This is the absolute truth. And this is some type of revelation. Someone may not be aware of, maybe this is this emperor that's not aware. This woman is collaborating with other people behind the scenes to cause some type of ending for an innocent energy and she's confident that she goes for it she's going to get what it is that she want um so she may think that she has this emperor wrapped around her finger and she can tell him any type of lies so that he can help or assist her in causing an ending for someone else but it looks like her plans are going to be failures it's a failure because this emperor may know exactly what this woman is doing you have quite a lot of people this is a whole family working against you you could have people in the justice system uh, working against you because people told some type of lie the whole family whether this is a couple this is a whole community of people they're all going through endings and they're not happy about how things are playing out because whatever plans they come up with conniving plans there goes that queen of source again with the heart out here there's three of source out here followed by the what the five of freaking cups so whatever she's been Plenty is not working. She's going to have to come up with a new plan again when it comes to having someone bound there because this is what she wants. She wants an emperor to assist her, assist her to have someone living in anxiety, to trap someone, right? To play mental games with someone, to bully someone so that someone does not get good night's sleep. They can be uh, up late and not worried about how their future is going to turn out. Whoever they're trying to come after, you got nothing to worry about because the universe is pouring into your cup uh unlimitedly relentlessly they are pouring into your cup and you are about to be so victorious it won't even make sense these people this whole institution does not even understand how it is that you have all this victory coming in when they've caused all of these blockages and hindrances for you block your pathway but this chapter is absolutely over because of Someone has made a decision, right, to grant you your wish. Your wishes are being granted. Things are going in your favor. You have good karma taking place. And this is pissing a queen of swords off behind the scenes. Someone is trying to keep her emotions in check, the very little bit of it that she has, because someone is nothing but an angry ball rolling around the face of the earth on two feet, okay? She's trying to keep her emotions in check. She's not happy behind the scenes, okay? Because you're going to be receiving some type of opportunity that she's not able to hinder. She's not able to cause an ending to. She's not able to cause blockages to because people see right through her, this entire community. They are unhappy because you're getting this fresh start, this new start. You get to step out here on hope, right? Maintain your connection to source. Take your knowledge with you because you know what these people are and you know that they are all in some type of predicament that is just not good or healthy for them, right? Um, they've all martyred themselves by taking actions against an innocent person all based off of what? A freaking lie. Based off of nothing but deceit. Trying to block your success, trying to block your connections and things like that. Not wanting people to work with you. And the universe made a decision to make sure that you maintain your abundance was meant for you is being protected right you are being seen as someone very wise and mature and you know everything these people are planning is going to fail you as the uh, high priestess you're going through some type of rebirth um there may be something in here where there's another high priestess that's quite intimidated by you because you're 
your throne, someone has been sitting on their throne for a long time, but they were not investing in learning or improving their knowledge. It's like someone got comfortable in some type of box. They wanted people to believe that they were skilled and they had nothing left to learn, which we all know is a lie in life. There's always more to learn. You started up here while she was up here and you woke up every day and invested in your journey, in your craft, in your practice. And every day she woke up, looked at you, laughed at you because you were down there. But somehow you've invested so much time, energy, and effort into your practice. You've come and surpassed her quickly. Okay. And it is bothering this woman. So she has some type of personal vendetta against you. All of them are fighting behind the scenes again, because what there's a uh, emperor may want to make an offer to you, may want to work with you. And all of them are going through some type of ending. They've all been working to cause blockages for you repeatedly. You could have a king of wands in here. You need to be mindful of because he's been working with these people at well, as well. Um, they know you and someone will be meeting. They don't know when, they don't know how, right? And you two meeting is going to bring some type of healing into this connection or whatever this is. But what I'm being told to tell you is you need to work, walk alone, work alone, walk alone until source tells you you're supposed to work with someone because whoever is coming towards you, there is absolute ulterior motive. So they said to what? Pave your own path and stick to it. Okay. You will be receiving some type of good news from a community. And they're going to be telling you, someone is going to be telling you what a group of people were doing behind the scenes in order to hinder your work, block you from being seen. Right. And this is the absolute truth. Okay. So you could be receiving a message from like a high level soul mate or something like that and this is going to cause some type of tower or ending to these people someone may be trying to communicate with you in the spirit realm maybe they think that you didn't get the message i think you got the message and you're just kind of moving forward with your life you don't want to be part of whatever this family has going on because you know they're going through nothing but burdens behind the scenes so you're not trying to accept any offers from these people so it's not that you didn't receive the message it's just that you don't really care to be part of that because uh source is telling you to move forward with your life your contract with these people or whatever time you have with these people is over so you're supposed to move forward now and consider your other options out there okay um, so that you can get on your path and fulfill your purpose. If someone wants to take action to come in and balance something out, that's cool. But just be mindful. Someone may be taking actions, right? Because they're going through some type of loss. So again, there's an ulterior motive for why they're coming towards you. It's because they've lost a lot of money and you know the truth, right? So don't even try it with them. You know the truth why they're coming towards you. You know the truth that they're going through endings behind the scenes and they're coming in to manipulate you, trying to take control of you and things like that. There's something in here where someone may see you like as a cash cushion and they know you're very gifted. Like you are genuinely a high priestess, regardless if you're male or female. They know you're very gifted, so they may want to attach themselves to you so that you can be like their money maker or something like that. And source is not having that. This person is going to do nothing but breadcrumb you. This is like you signing almost like a 360 deal like those celebrities do, those rappers and singers do, where you're making all the money, but they're breadcrumbing you behind the scenes. They're living lavishly with your families and friends, and you're struggling every day to make ends meet. And this is part of the reason why Source is telling you to move to the beat of your own drum, be, the, be a bit of a rebel. Pave your own pathway, okay? Move to your own beat. It may take a little longer, but it will be very abundant. Just garner that strength. Keep that strength to keep moving forward. It will be very uh, abundant. You do have your avenging angels surrounding you, taking action on your behalf to secure you always, okay? There's a, there is a woman in here that could be like a mother figure, wife figure, like an empress energy. She's going through some type of laws behind the scenes. This woman is absolutely burdened because of some type of uh, hasty decision that she may have made and took some type of action. And it has led to nothing but burdens for her. This woman could have paid someone to do you something and it did not go according to plan so she may be losing a lot of money and things like that someone was advised not to do it before she took action something was revealed to her told her hey don't take that action do not 
go towards that uh, star seed. Do not do this. But someone's, someone's very vain. I don't know if this is someone's mother that just does not realize this is not characteristic of what a mother should be doing. Or this could be someone's wife that's going through this. Listen, I don't know what's going on with me now. When I start my read, I put a few cards down and then I just start going on. As you all know, most of my reads are intuitive. So I don't really oftentimes pay a lot of attention like to the cards. Like um, I'm just getting my, my downloads and going with them. Um, so when, when the cards come out, I use them if it's applicable. Um, but I tend to prefer to re to rely on my intuition because I don't want to depend too heavily on my cars because then I'll be limiting myself. Um, but there is a mother figure behind the scenes going through some type of uh, disappointment, heartbreak or something of that nature because she took some, took some type of hasty decision to cause you some type of ending. This is an empress. So this is someone's mother or someone's wife to block some type of offer from being from being given to you or to block you from receiving some type of ace of pentacles offer um this was supposed to lead to a fresh start for you um and she did something that hindered that so maybe you didn't receive it or she's still pissed off that you're going to be receiving this offer in divine timing and whoever's supposed to give you the offer is going for it because they have higher understanding of what this woman has been doing behind the scenes and why she took some type of action maybe someone they didn't realize that either their mother or their wife was working with a group of people behind the scenes but he has some type of clarity about it now so he may be coming in with some type of offer um but just know i'm being told to tell you that your offer is protected your investments they are protected so you don't need to do anything do not lose any sleep over what these people are doing anyone coming in your energy they are a little bit hesitant to even come towards you because these people have been going through a lot of burdens behind the scenes because of the actions they've taken against you and a lot of them are hiding it they don't want people to know but it's really all out in the open it's not really something they can hide because something has been going on for a long time this is like one day you go to work you lose your dog the next day you go to work you've lost your car the next day you wake up you lost your job in a whole community they're seeing you go through a change and you don't realize they know that you're going through something behind the scenes and a lot of them know as well it's because you did something to a star seed that did nothing to you all because in the name of greed and jealousy because that's really all these people are about they don't like a feminine energy either because you are very beautiful, you're like a powerhouse, or because you're very abundant. Meanwhile, they're out here stuck going to, through financial issues. There's a king of pentacles in here, and I've warned you many, many times, and you keep walking out here with this naive mentality that you are secure in life. You're going through some type of financial life because of actions you took against a queen, a queen of cups on empress star c to cause them burdens to weigh them down you wanted someone to let go of their destiny let go of their purpose and this is why you're going through financial life you may be losing your home you've lost a lot of finances you're having to pinch pennies or you have to budget having to budget really tight because you took some type of action to cause someone heartbreak and hinder them or prevent them from receiving an offer just like that empress energy did and now you're all going through some type of ending um someone may have paid you all or you all pay someone so all of you have been networking behind the scenes with a queen of pentacles to cause burdens right to an emperor energy and an empress star c energy queen of cups energy and this is why you're all going through all of these endings it's because of what you did there's a couple behind the scenes trying to hide what it is they're going through because they're going through a loss so they may be keeping a hush hush yeah, they're trying to hide what they're going through. They're going through a rough time right now because of what they did to a star seed behind the scenes. And they don't want anyone to know that they are going through an ending. Okay, it's going to show. You won't be able to hide that for a long time. They're going through some type of financial like. I don't know if a, if a couple went into their bank account, right, and took money out of there to keep an, uh, 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 a feminine energy blocked, stop their finances. They thought they were investing in something with a group of people that was 
promising that it was going to be a high return on investment or something and it turned out to be nothing but disappointment and it turns out that they may have trapped themselves or bonded themselves to a contract they're having a hard time getting out of and it does not look like anything good is coming out of this right um so you may they may have taken some type of ill advice from someone and it has caused them a lot of loss but they're gonna have to find the strength to move on right um this company couple this community they may have some legal issues coming in in the near future and this is because the entire community including the couple that decided to work with them are under some type of divine judgment uh, this is also because whatever they were doing and whoever they were doing it to was based on nothing but a lie it was a lie the whole time, right? They've been lying about something and been trying to block some type of justice from taking place. So there will be some type of court case going on. You could have a king of wands that has some legalities issues coming in or some type of legal issues going on right now. Someone in here may be going through a divorce. There could be a couple about to go through some type of separation. I don't know. It's just too much going on. But it is what it is. This is the bed these people made. So they do got to, you know, lay in it. I know a lot of them are out here disappointed. Even though someone is out here experiencing a lot of loss, they're still determined to destroy you. And they're going to keep experiencing losses for coming after you. So it is what it is. It is what it is. They're committed to destroying you and your ancestors or what? committed to causing them endings darkness blockages everything this is what they don't see that your ancestors are all over the situation this is why they're all fighting they could be arguing with uh, a emperor in a community or they're arguing with the fact that an emperor wants to take some type of action to bring balance into a situation this is the head of a community that maybe is disappointed in what his subjects his people have done or are doing so maybe he wants to bring balance into a situation because too much have been lost and they're going to keep going through losses until something is balanced out or a group of people leave someone alone okay and this is the god's honest truth until you all leave someone alone or balance something out this is going to keep going on you may have legal issues coming out but the truth has been revealed that whoever you've been trying to destroy is someone that's high of high character their character is solid as can be there's nothing dark about this person a lot of you have possibly gotten into this person's energy and you know the truth that someone is very genuine someone is very uh uh, 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 upright they're not a liar they're not dark they're not out here sending dark energy to people but because you all told some type of lie that you are trying to carry on because you don't want two people coming together this is why yeah you told a lot of lies this entire group you told a lot of lies and all the lies have been exposed that you were trying to do nothing but keep someone bonded blocked right keep someone uh in their mental get someone mentally sick where they're not able to tell right from wrong, don't know who's coming towards them to do something to them, living in fear and anxiety, thinking that the whole world is out here to get them. But this cycle is over, okay? Someone will be receiving a commitment in love, right? And it doesn't have to be the emperor in your community because how, how it's set up, if it does not work with one emperor, the universe has quite a few of them lined up. So one person missed their, missed their line, the next person comes in. So, right the, the, the next emperor comes in or the next empress comes in whether it's for a masculine or feminine so whether the emperor in this community chooses to give his offer to someone else or to stay in this toxicity that's his business but at the end of the day that star c empress energy queen of cups energy is going to be moving on to a brand new beginning fresh start in life okay and uh, which means the whole community is defeated and which means all of the actions you all were taking against someone or two people was in vain. Even if you two, uh, uh, even if, what am I saying? Even if you two, even if you two come together, don't come together, this whole community, this operation is dismantled. It's dismantled because two people will still be working together again. The whole community, this karmic community is under judgment. And this is why they're fighting their own emperor, fighting about their own emperor taking action to, I don't know, secure someone's independence, 
this is something that may have been repulsive to him before because these kind of people, you're only useful to them when they have something to offer you, but when they don't have anything to offer you and you are secure within yourself and you're not out here looking, uh, uh, begging or desperate for the next dollar, they don't have anything to offer you because you are the one that's abundant or naturally. You're naturally abundant. So that means whatever you're receiving is something that's truly meant for you. Spirit is pouring into you and sharing with you basically. Okay. Um, so there's not really much this emperor. I don't want to, let me, I'm not going to say that. <sighs> Lord, the downloads, they're just coming in, coming in. This emperor is like, and I can, I'm going to keep saying this. This man is in between a rock and a hard, hard place. Think of yourself like you've been living a specific way for a long time. And all of a sudden, one day you come across someone and they are completely different from you. Okay. And he may even have emotions for you, but because you two come from two different sides of the track, it's causing a lot of problems. So it's that one person if you go, let's say the high priestess, the star sea goes into the emperor's community, then she's out of the light. She loses her connection to source and source is not allowing that because whoever this feminine energy is, is extremely high ranking. This is someone that goes on like missions for the universe for source. So wherever this person is, whether it's in a school, a church, a community, a business, they are there on a mission. There's something they're supposed to do there. And once they complete their purpose in that location, they are moved to the next location to fulfill their purpose. So this is like, a, an, a, a, people say, assizing angels, spiritual judge, uh, in, like a spiritual investigator, a spiritual spy, whatever you want to call it. They are on a mission every location they are in and everyone they encounter, they have some type of fulfillment to give to that person, whether it's healing or some type of awakening. These are people when you meet them, you are at some type of crossroad in your life. You're about to go through some type of change. If you make the right decision, you move forward. Your life changes for the good. If you make the wrong decision in regards to these people, your life falls to pieces. Okay. Think of uh, like one of my examples I use in regards to Gabriel, Archangel Gabriel. When you meet Gabriel, Gabriel has many sides, right? You may meet him and he's someone that's very poor and homeless on the street, right? And maybe he may ask you for some money and the attitude that you give to Gabriel, if you have the money and you don't give it to Gabriel because you said you're, you're, you, you got better use for your money or something like that, I'm just using this as an example your life could fall to pieces because you're showing the universe that you're not someone that's very giving. You're very selfish. You didn't need the dollar that Gabriel asked you for. They're testing you, right? They're like, let me see if you're going to give to me before we give you this blessing, even though we know you haven't really done much to deserve this blessing. But we're trying to, because the universe is very patient with us, we're trying to put you in a different energy so you can start going through some type of ascension. So Gabriel appearing to you, it's your opportunity. You know what I mean? So that you can step into that new energy and source can start working on you so that you can embark on your healing journey. It is something like that with a feminine energy. A lot of people don't know when you meet this person, you are in some at some type of crossroads in between chapters. You can either go to the right or go to the left where whichever decision you make, you've made that decision is final. Okay, so you can either go to the right and go through some type of rebirth, uh, get your life straightened out, live as a better and higher version of yourself, live a fulfilling life, or you can try to destroy this feminine energy and end up in some type of karmic cycle you just never could have imagined will seem very supernatural to you. And I think there are people within this community going through that they met some type of feminine energy. And they didn't realize that this is someone you meet when you are at the crossroads of making a change or going through some type of change in your life. And they made the wrong decisions. And this is why their lives are falling apart because they said they're part of some type of 
operation, some type of family dynamic. They operate on principle or something like that. So a whole cult or a coven was created or a whole cult decided to come after one person to cause them hindrances. And the whole community, there are members in this community going through endings and they don't realize it's because of what they invested in when it comes to this specific feminine energy that they decided to come after and destroy. This is someone very genuine that you all were trying to destroy for some reason or are trying to destroy and block their future. And you don't realize that this person is not on the chopping block. You all are on the chopping block. Your lives, your destiny, your purpose, because at the end of the day, this person is still going to have victory because what they're on a mission. They, they answer their calling from the ancestors. So they'll always receive what it is they need to receive from the ancestors. As far as abundance, fulfillment, and things like that in life, they will always receive it. So you all may want to go within and self-actualize it. But why it is that everything you've done, this person is still choosing to stand their ground every time, 24-7. So you may want to self-actualize or go to some type of practitioner. This has been coming out a lot. I've been telling you all, there's a community. Members of this community, you need to go to like a practitioner, uh, someone very high ranking that has common sense, someone with no ulterior motives and ask them if you're going to succeed against a star seed you're coming up against. You're not going to succeed. You need to self-actualize and walk away. This whole group you need to walk away because things are not going to end in your favor. Your kingdom is at its end. It is the end of this kingdom. I'm telling you because it's built on nothing but deceit and you all pretend to be in the upright publicly. You're not in the upright. You are actually a kingdom of darkness. Okay. And everything you don't want people to know about you, it is known about you. This is the uh, 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 car that came after the moon. It is known about you. You're upset because a feminine energy knows the truth about you all. And whatever operation you're trying to farther cannot be farther, right? Because you're doing it for the wrong reasons. Greed, superficiality, okay? Selfishness. Your motives for why you're doing something is not right. That's why you're having a hard time succeeding. Um, as far as, I keep getting the word recruit recruitment recruiting is that you all are trying to recruit the wrong energy into an operation is that you're trying to recruit an angel to be part of the kingdom of darkness it's not going to work because once they even step foot in their darkness the universe is going to feel some type of weight about it and they'll dismantle it faster than it's already falling apart the source does not give people abilities gifts and clearances right for them to go and misuse it for the wrong purpose, for dark reasons, right? So if even you were able to recruit someone into your kingdom of darkness, it's going to be destroyed. It will be absolutely destroyed. And maybe that's something you don't know. So you're out here trying to come in and give someone an offer so that you can make it seem like you genuinely want to work with them, right? You care about their stability, but this person has a higher knowledge of what your true intentions are, okay? So, uh, what, whoever this feminine energy is that you all are coming after, just know that when you meet this person, that means you are at a curse road. And I don't mean that curse road where you all go to, to make a deal with the devil. I mean, you are at a curse road in your life. How you treat this person tells the universe what it is, what path, what direction it is that you want to take. I'm telling you, you're telling them, I either want to ascend or I want to live with burdens. I want to stay in the darkness that I've been living in a, a long time, all of my lives, 10 years, 20 years, 30 years, however long you've been in darkness. You're telling them, I either want to take a new turn, go through healing, accept the calling from my ancestors, to heal our bloodline, recover our bloodline, or I want us to what? stay in this energy here. Because the energy you all are in is an energy of uncertainty. You most of the time don't even know what you're investing in as far as the family dynamic. Uh, because this is what you all call yourself is a family. You don't know what you're investing in. And oftentimes there's no good return on investment. This ends up being you all. 
trapped in bondage to things that you don't want to be part of. And because your leaders give you a few dollars, I don't know how often, or they give you some type of promises and they tell you we're loyal to each other in this community, we're family and things like that. You all think you're part of something very beautiful or something very promising is nothing but darkness something that's just blocking your future you are basically voluntarily give your destiny away to these organizations you give your destiny away to these leaders because you can't do anything without their permissions tell me online i want you to tell me online yeah yeah i know it ain't no lie you don't have the freedom to be you most of you, some of you are in your 40s, your 50s, your 60s. You don't even know who you are because you've been told who to be your entire time with these people. Some of you started young. Yeah, your entire time with these people. Some of you started out very young in these organizations and you don't have any clue of who you really are. Okay. Uh, and when people tell you that, you get defensive. You don't want to hear it. Right, but it's the truth. You're gonna to have to listen if you want to change, but most of you don't want to change because you you don't want to change. You're comfortable with how things are. You're comfortable with blocking your own blessings, blocking your own destinies. And because you successfully blocked your own destiny, you think someone else is gonna sit by and let you block their destiny and they're just going to happily sign their lives away, sign their destinies away. No, 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 no. Some of us, we know the truth out here, and this is why we are logical and practical about how we approach certain institutions. We'll know the truth about them, but we will sit in those institutions and keep our mouth shut and study you all from afar. There's someone in here as well. It's possibly the same feminine energy that you all are trying to destroy. The universe, what, it, what the universe does is put these kind of energies in specific institutions to study them from the inside out. So the whole time they're there, you don't even know they're studying you, the leaders, the members of those communities. So that when they come out, because they know when they come out, right, there's going to be some type of problem. These communities are going to come after them. So then because they've studied these communities from the inside out, right, they know the leaders, who's who in the community, what they do, how you operate, the language of the community, all of that. When they come out and these communities decide to come after them, they know how to dismantle those communities from afar. You see how the universe works? So there's a there's a feminine energy who's a star sea, spiritual assassin, whatever you all want to call them. The universe puts them in specific institutions, specific environments, in people, in specific people's lives. And they study them from afar, right? They, they learn their way of operation, their way of moving. So uh, when it's time for those communities to either be dismantled or for them to go through some type of awakening, how it always go about is the community or the person will come after their star seed. And that is the opportunity or the time for their star seed to do what it is the most high has hired them to do is to dismantle them. And they do it gradually. And before you, you don't even know that you've been dismantled until it's too late. By the time you realize it, checkmate. Okay? Checkmate. So, that's what it is. Yeah, I'm telling you, checkmate. Whoever you're trying to come after is absolutely a high priestess. And they already know their success is secure. They will be successful. There could be a high priestess within your community as well that knows this is going to be taking place, right? This could be the high priestess this man goes to. Her energy is a little bit iffy for me. I don't know if someone is genuinely a high priestess or they listen to other high priestesses. I'm telling you, her energy is not straightforward there's something she's hiding someone may not be a genuine high priestess she's living in some type of fear because the truth is being exposed about her this is someone that takes from other people and does nothing but breadcrumbing going through some type of laws right someone's very vain and does nothing but causes illusion she was hopeful that she would be well able to defeat another person block someone from receiving some type of abundance so she may have wanted to come in and gas like someone else or she may be playing with a king of wands energy or whatever trying to make it seem that she's 
the right high priestess to work with. She's the one that's gifted. She's not gifted at all. Someone has come, has figure out some type of formula on how to appear as a high priestess, but she don't know what she's doing. Someone's very manipulative and cunning with words, not as good as the queen of swords in this community, but the high priestess herself, high priestess, I'm going to call her a, a high priestess because that's what she deems herself to be. That's what she carry herself as, but that's as, but that does not mean that she's a high priestess. She's very cunning with words. <clears throat> But she's not as good as the Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords, she has that sucker like down pack. Down pack. Okay. The Queen of Swords, baby. She has her manipulation, manipulative tactic down pack. Even the leader of the community, she knows how to manipulate him like nobody's business. A sister is cold with how she moves cold 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 okay very cold with how she moves and no one knows that she may even be the one that teaches people how to play with people's energy play in people's energy lie and manipulate she's the one that does that but she's very cold and she's playing on someone's mental so that he can help her uh destroy someone or bind someone block someone keep someone trapped yeah that's what she's doing behind the scenes and I think a masculine energy, whoever the emperor is, she's trying to get assistance from to help her. He knows exactly what she's about. He knows what she's doing. Okay. So kudos for him. Maybe his eyes are opening. He's going through some type of awakening himself, or he just knows the truth now. And he's not willing to partake in whatever this is that she's trying to do. Okay. She's trying to cause some type of doubt in his mind so that he does not see the truth or he can second guess himself. She wants him in that eight of source energy where he's always wondering, is this right? Am I making the right move? And this is a whole leader of a community too. A whole leader of a community. He will be walking away just like I said, and it's going to cause some type of ending in these people's life. This is a whole emperor that will be sending some type of message to an empress, a high priestess, star sea energy because he knows who this person is <sighs> lord that's a whole lot who is this community lord have mercy anyways let's do our tea leave oracle cards and get on out of here okay we have 22 uh for the number of protection right it said you are in possession of incredible creative powers and it is assured that you can achieve anything you wish I am aligned, okay? Nine, something is either done or almost done. It said, it's your compassion that makes you shine. You are devoted to helping the greater good and have a strong talent for sp speaking up for others. Your soul is most satisfied when you are being of service. I am compassionate. Okay, seven, the number of luck and protection from the heavenly realms. It said you possess a very refined mind and a deep urge to uncover life's mysteries. Your ability to acquire vast knowledge on both the informational and spiritual planes give you a greater awareness than most. I am brilliant. Okay, right there. And wish you are. Don't let anyone make you feel any less than that. Um, and this one says banish doubts. Okay, and this is something people in these types of community, they try to do a lot. And I know this is something I'm going through behind the scenes as well. Um, people trying to temper with my platform so that I can feel like, well, it's not growing and it's not this and it's not that. I know exactly where I'm going. So I don't know why you are even wasting your time. Like, I don't see myself at my destination. Literally. Like, Soros done went out of its way to tell me, hey... I know these people are doing this and this behind the scenes and you are aware of it, but we need you to disregard everything they're doing. This is where you're going. When I say I saw myself where I'm supposed to be, I saw myself where I'm supposed to be. So everything you all are doing, I don't know why you're doing it, why you keep wasting your money, Queen of Pentacles. You're about to do something stupid again that's going to cost you a lot of money. I don't know. Maybe this is me helping you, telling you don't do what you're about to do because you're going to lose some money again. You've been losing a whole lot of money behind the scenes and you're still determined to keep going. Your kingdom, oh, I guess this is how you see it. It's done. It's done. This is me helping you. This is as much help as you're going to get from me. It's done. 
you're going to lose more money. Whatever money you have left in your pocket, you may want to secure that because you got a whole long journey ahead of you. And it's going, going to be nothing but a hard knock life. You know how what Jay-Z said? It's a hard knock life for you, though, not for us because uh, uh, that ain't my calling. It's a hard knock life for you. No one's going to treat you wickedly, but you are going to have a hard knock life because everything you've done, you are going to have to pay your karma for it. Okay, something should have been over a long time ago, but you have some type of mental illness and don't know when to let go. You don't let your community to go connect with other communities to cause someone blockages and things like that, honey. It ain't going nowhere. Okay, anyway, you want someone to doubt themselves. Say, oh, I don't think I can do this. This is not my baby, baby, honey. We are the ones with the foresight. We are the one with the intuitive gift. You don't have any... I, I, I don't read through you too many times in these tarot readings. You don't have a lick of gifts in you. Nada. You are dry like the Sahara Desert when it comes to spiritual gifts. Like source don't shut everything down. I don't even think you ever had any. It's not activated. None of your gifts are activated. You are dry like the Sahara Desert. So I don't know why you're out here doing all this. Calm down. Calm down. Okay, banish doubt. Don't let doubt define you. Action dispels your fear. Trust in your abilities. What does that mean? When you want to take some type of action and all of a sudden you're feeling afraid to take that action, push through anyways and take the action. Okay, like you want to go like, uh, like, for example, before I started getting on social media, I used to be afraid to get on social media. I'm like, what if people don't even want to listen to me? Uh, what if this, what if that, you know, I don't have the personality for social media. And then, you know, I realized that everything you do in life is a, it's an experience. It's progressive, right? You start off here and you work your way to the top. Okay. So you, you, you'll eventually learn how to get comfortable in front of the camera. You'll eventually learn your style of doing things, especially when it comes to tarot. You'll eventually learn, you know, how to be you on camera, how to, uh, apply your personality to how you do your readings, the way you learn, the method, information, you know, all of that, you're going to come into awareness of it, but it takes time. So if someone out there, you are trying to embark on some type of new journey and you're just afraid to do it, go ahead and do it anyways. All right. Because you're going to stay afraid forever. If you don't take any action, it's the same with like public speaking. A lot of us don't like public speaking because what in public school, we're not thought how to really embrace that side of us, right? Unless you take like debate or public speaking courses and things like that, or classes in school, you don't know nothing about how to overcome that fear. The only way to overcome public speaking is to actually do it. You start off small, you can start off in your room, pretend like you have an auditorium of people, like thousands of people that you're speaking to. Start off like that. And then from there, what? You make your way maybe to like a small class. Or maybe a few people speak in front of your family. From your family, you expand it to maybe your neighbors or your friends or something. Like, start off gradually. But sometimes everybody, people want to build room. Room in room was not built in one day. But that's the problem. People want to, want to build cities in one day. It don't work that way. Even America is not complete. The heck are you talking about? We got the fan out here for our... Uh, tea leaf oracle so the 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 fan it has to do with you having good health so someone out here maybe your health is recovering someone may have been sick or something or you're just doing better all overall in life like your mental is at a better place you're taking charge of your life and moving forward and leaving chaos behind you right so your health may be doing better it may be improving for some of you which is good or maybe you're taking actions to improve your health okay um be aware also of someone dishonest around you um so someone maybe you've trusted for a long time could be around you causing a lot of mayhem trying to manipulate you emperor you and their queen of swords you maybe want to be mind you may be want to be mindful because this is someone you've known for a long time uh, some of you, this is someone you maybe have established some type of acquaintances with and they are manipulating you. So be very 
uh, alert. There is someone in your energy trying, uh, that is very dishonest and trying to get you to take some type of action to support them in doing something or trying to get some type of reaction out of you. They may want you to take some type of action that's going to lead to an ending for you. So you may be doing it saying that, oh, I'm helping this person, but they know it's going to cause you something if you take that action. So just be mindful as well. And this is what I always say about the old school generation. They're big on loyalty, which loyalty is a beautiful thing to have, but with the right people. You can't be out here being loyal to people that are blocking your destinies. You can't be out here being loyal to people that, are, that have 10 swords in your back. And you're still out here trying to prove your loyalty. That is not how loyalty works. That is stupidity. Okay. We have the number four. Um, uh, so th something could be completed as well. So whether you are in some type of karmic cycle with someone or a group of people, this has come to an end. Whether someone is trying to drag it out, refusing to give up, right? Someone's working overtime on how to end you, possibly this freaking king of uh, cups in the reverse, who, you know, he may not be able to stay committed to something, but he's been working overtime to end someone's future, someone's forward movement and things like that. But it's all done. So something could be over with and you have the victory collective. Um, just know also that you are protected as well. Um, so there's really nothing your enemies can do to deter you off of your path, off of your destiny. So just stay the course and keep on move, moving forward. It is protected and you are protected. Anyways, thank you for watching the Ascended Divination Priestess channel. I will see you in my next read and goodbye for now.